<laughs> she actually threw it at me. Did you see that? Get your hat on. Get your hat. It's a witch's hat. You are a wee witch, aren't you? morning hope you are all well very cold morning it's thursday yeah thursday the 26th of october so it won't be long it's halloween and i've still got quite a lot to do i'm going to get all my terminal things and put them away well most of them and get the halloween things out in the living room and round about the house my son's coming up later to help me put the rest of the outdoor uh, decorations up so that will be good. Tam's busy out painting the other shed that we got. I'll let you see him in a minute. His back's really, really sore. He gave it one coat of, it's a, a treatment, a kind of beige colour. Um, so now he's going over it with red cedar, um, the same as the, the small shed that we bought too. So a lot going on today. I've even got a pot of soup on the go. Um, ham soup. I've got a uh, ham soup with a ham hock. So that's just boiling away there. And uh, I realised I'd run out of lentils. I didn't have lentils. So my son's going to go to the shop before he comes here. So whether I get it made today is another matter. But I can finish it off tomorrow, I suppose. I like to let the lentils soak um, for a few hours. I don't think you need to leave lentils overnight. Broth mixture you need to leave overnight soaking in cold water, but I think the lentils is just for a few hours. I might be wrong. Now firstly, can I, or secondly, can I apologise if you see any shadows. I dropped my phone last week and cracked all the screens, so I haven't done anything about it, but sometimes, depending where I'm standing, it must be the reflection, I don't know, the way the screen's all cracked, so I apologise about that and hopefully I'll be getting that sorted soon. So yeah, pot's on the go, washing machine's on as well, so first of all I'm going to get in the living room, get rid of all the autumnal stuff that I, I don't want it up anymore, the Halloween stuff's going up and then after that it'll be time to get prepared for the Christmas stuff to go up. So, here goes. There it is, that's the new shed. The other one was falling to pieces. There were bits falling off the roof, bits of wood, and the weavings there all painted. So it's just going to give it one coat of that red cedar. That'll do it to next year, as long as it's protected through the winter. Some of the plants are put to bed for the winter as well. That's daffodil and tulip bulbs under the white kind of fleece there, and that's my strawberries, blueberries. I'll need to cover that up, that's come off. So yeah, everything's bedded down, even the, there's onions in one of these, Tam planted them last week and we'll be putting other veg in as soon as we are able, or as soon as they go in, I, I don't know if you can put them in now, it might be after Christmas. So there we are, he's got his radio playing there. whether to leave this or just put that away. I've still got the window one, I'll leave that till um, after Halloween. So pumpkins, no, they're not going away, they'll stay, but these are all going away. I'll maybe leave these wee pumpkins somewhere else. Um, and the stuff here are going away because I'm doing a wee display, a Halloween display on this table. Uh, right, so I'm going to get started because there's a lot to do. Thank you. 
Right, well it's now Friday evening, ten past six, I'm just waiting some of the family coming and some of the grandkids. We're just having a wee Halloween get together. It's Friday the 27th of October and I've just got all the lights and that on outside as well but I'll show you them another time. Everything in here's lit up. There's Tam waiting patiently. <laughs> I've not put Sammy's arriving out yet because it's too early, so I've not put an awful lot out. I will put crisps out in these kind of spidery bowls. And sandwiches, um, crisps, dip, there's sweets here as well. Hey, keep your paws off my candy, buddy. Nope, I'm not in a sharing mood today. I can't tell you how many years I've had this guy here. It's been a long, long time. I know you, well, you could last year and the year before, I think you could get very similar in the shops, but this guy is the real thing. He's good quality, just a great, great thing. When we went into the shops, I think it was last year and the year before at Halloween, and they did have similar to this. Um, they were quite cheap and definitely thin, thin plastic, but this one, this one. <coughs> <laughs> I love it. I don't think I'll ever part with it. So I've got my wee ghost chandelier up here too and the witch is just hanging up there. And the eyes light up in this wreath. There it is. Just some stick on bats. I didn't put I've got loads of them, I didn't put them all up. Um and just some pumpkins there. So what I'm putting the sandwiches, I've had these for years as well, some sandwiches on this skull plate and then this one here. This is a really good plate as well. Looks a bit wobbly. And I've got some holes here. I'm going to put the crisps in these but I might not use them, I don't know. And of course my kids love a wee drink so I've left some of these wine glasses out for them. Again, this one, I can't tell you how many years I've had it. Many, many years. And these two I only got maybe three years ago, maybe. Tuesday is Halloween and we're not doing much because we had that wee party for everyone on Friday. It was just some of the kids came, not all my grandkids, and then my two daughters and my son were there as well. I didn't film any of it because they don't like they don't like it, so I didn't bother doing anything. So it was good, it was a good laugh, it had a good laugh, and they went away about half past ten because I knew it wasn't going to be a late one. But did I suffer? No, I wasn't drinking. Alcohol, that is. I did have a small wine with lemonade in it as well. That was it. But for, I had a, an awful lot of pain when I went to bed. My foot was so much pain and this thumb, not because I burnt it, it was down here. So I don't know if it's like a carpal tunnel syndrome I've got. But all night, everything I tried to do, any time I moved it, it was sore. Then when I went to bed after everyone had gone away, I couldn't sleep for the pain in my foot. So I was up most of the night. It was about five o'clock after taking more painkillers that I fell asleep on the sofa in the living room. I didn't go back to bed because I was disturbing Tam, which wasn't fair. So yesterday, Saturday, I spent most of the day in bed, catching up with the sleep that I lost on the Friday night into Saturday. So, and it was a lovely day yesterday too. The sun was shining and it was really nice. And we had planned, well, I had actually planned to look after my wee grandson, Anthony, to let my daughter and her husband go out for lunch, but that wasn't going to happen. So she just made other arrangements. Um, so that was it, and today it has rained, no, it's rained non-stop, but we didn't plan to go out today anyway. I just decided to clean up after Friday, it wasn't done yesterday because Tam's tired as well. Um, and then as I say, I was in my bed most of the day, so I just tidied up, hoovered, cleaned today. Um, so let's hope I won't suffer for that tomorrow but it's all done anyway dinner's prepared uh, the, the dinner's actually ready i made a beef casserole we're going to have some 
pastry with that, um, puff pastry with that, and uh, mashed potatoes and then vegetables. So that that's it. So dinner's prepared. Potatoes are all ready just to put on to boil, and then I just need to mash them. Or Tam will mash them. So that was it. So about my channel, I haven't um, I haven't been doing a lot of vlogs. Obviously, I burnt my fingers and I didn't feel like doing anything. But I'm starting to get a lot more pain than I ever uh, I've ever experienced. To be honest with you, it's not. It never was in just one place. It was my shoulders, my elbows, my hips. But it's it's just got worse, and I just get so tired. I just can't be bothered sometimes. So. I don't know what I'm going to do with my vlogs. I certainly can't do them every day. I'm, I'm not fat. And I know it's only sitting here filming, but I want to put more content in. I don't just want to sit here chatting to you, but um, Maggie's crying in the background. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I was thinking about doing weeklies again. Obviously, I, I don't need to vlog every day. Um, I could vlog like every second day and just put it all in one video and upload it. I don't know, maybe on a Sunday or a Monday. Stop it. I think she's a bit upset today. I, I, I don't know whether she's... Her routine's been upset by the clocks getting changed. She's hungry now wanting her dinner and it's only... It's 20 past 2, but if it was yesterday, it would be 20 past 3. So she'd be getting her dinner just now. So it looks like I'm going to have to give her that. Her wee body clock is, doesn't go back an hour. She's still wanting her dinner, so I probably will need to feed her just now. But um, I will come back on and talk more about my channel, my vlogs, and what's going to happen. Um, yeah, there was times there I wasn't going to come back on and vlog. It, it was just... It's just too much. Everything's too much for me just now. Um, so if people want to unsubscribe from my channel because you know they might not be getting regular vlogs, that that's fine. If that's what you want to do, you can do. I hope that you don't. Um, but I'll just need to wait and see see what's what happens. Um, what else can I say? You know. Yeah, life changes. I'm older. I'm going to be nearly 67. I'm nearly 67 in December. Um, you know, and yeah, I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> Definitely starting to feel it. My, my joints are getting worse. This arm will never get better. And then Friday night, after every minute away, there was an example that I couldn't sleep all night because of my foot. Nothing to do with vlogging, but it just shows that whenever I've maybe been on my feet for a while or I've been doing things around about the house, I do suffer for it. This camera on my phone, you can see the wee ghosts on it because I must have messed it up, not just the screen, something inside must be going a bit dual alley as well. The camera's not... See that ghost? That's my hand. <laughs> Um, so I'll need to get that fixed. So that's putting me off doing vlogs as well because you've got to have a clear picture. You don't want to sit and watch, you know, a, a bad picture on the, the vlog. So I'll just need to wait and do, uh, see what I can do. I might get a new um, screen put on, but if that doesn't stop the wee ghosts and, you know, bits of shadows and that, obviously the phone camera's knackered, so... I do have another camera which I'm not used to using um, but I was thinking about getting that back out and trying vlogging with it and uploading it just to see how that is. I'm sure it'll be okay but it's just that I'm not used to using it and I've never uploaded anything from this wee camera. Um, I think it was my son and my daughter that got me it for my 60th birthday, was it? I think it was my 60th birthday they got me it. And I just, it's small, it's, it's, that, it's, it's not a GoPro. But um, it's one of those sports cameras you can film under water and things like that. But it's maybe I'll I'll try. I don't know. And if that works okay, well, this phone I'll, I'll use it for phoning and nothing else. Anyway, folks, I am going to love you and leave you. I'm going to go and sit down. I'll probably nod off, and I'll see you again.
probably Tuesday. I'll upload the video maybe on the Wednesday for Halloween. There won't be much. I, I will let you see the outside decorations. There's lights out there as well. They're timed. They come on at night when it gets starting and they go off again about 12 o'clock at night. Had some noisy ones as well on Friday night, but I've, I've taken the batteries out of one of them. It was a, a mat with a sensor when you stand in it. My God, screaming, and this is a haunted house, a voice says, and it was really was noisy. Um, Logan was scared of it. Logan was even scared of snapping Sam. You would have seen earlier on in the vlog when I was putting my hand in to take a sweet. He just didn't like that at all, so I had to switch that off as well. So I've removed the mat from the front door uh, so it doesn't frighten anyone else. And there is lights on one of my conifer trees at this side of the front door. They have a sensor as well and when someone walks past them they start screaming and playing music and the lights go off and on all different colours. But um, after Tuesday they'll all come down on Wednesday, get put away and then they'll be planning for Christmas. So as far as vlogmas goes, I don't know. So anyway, I did say I love yous and leave yous and I've rattled, rattled on here like a budget. I will go now and I will speak to yous again very soon. Bye!